Our second game in the best of three. Keep in mind, yes, this is the semi-final, and usually it's the best of five, but Jokchin MMA somehow decided that it is going to be a best of three. They apparently got the option of making it a best of three instead of a best of five, and they said both. Yep, we're fine with that, so let's just go for it. So right now we have our best of three on uh, the second map, Habitation Station, and starting to the top left we have Jakchi in the 1-0 lead against his opponent. Starting to the top right we have MMA for Team Acer. Jakchi, of course, playing for Team My Insanity. And, uh, well, at this point right now we have a situation where MMA kind of threw the last game a little bit. And he had a big problem when his medevac was killed by Jakchi. He was really going for a strong harass there and doing a great job up to this point, but then losing the medevac apparently already crushed his spirits, lost the Banshee, and then later on against the Marines too before the cloaking was done. So it was a very unfortunate situation for MMA, and Jack Chi, he capitalized on it and took the way to victory. So at this point, the lead here for the My Insanity player, and MMA are probably not going to be too happy with this development. But we have Jack Chi in this game with the gas build. Chakchi the one to get the gas, whereas MMA, alright, he gets it a little bit later, so we have a slight advantage here for Chakchi in the timing if he wants to go for the tag. MMA in game number one even started things off with a gas first against his opponent, and uh, well, of course, Barracks then following it up straight with the factory, straight into the starport. Chakchi with a bit of a faster expansion that gave him a really good economy, and since he was able to defend so well against the harass that we saw from MMA, he just didn't have any problems anymore to follow that up after that. So at this point, what we have for Jack Chi is the opportunity to advance straight to the finals of the Gfinity Cup. Now all he has to do is win another map against MMA and he has two shots now. He has to win one of the next two maps and for MMA, well, it's all or nothing. He's way at the back to the wall already. Needs to win two in a row. Jack Chi with the Reaper that he so much loves. So let's see what exactly he can pull off with that. Same also for MMA. A little bit of a Reaper battle maybe in the middle of the map. That's something that I haven't seen in quite some time. But for now, it's just the SUV having a quick poke and maybe get an idea what's going on. And the first thing that he realizes is like, well, look at that, there's a Marine. <laughs> and that's the scout for, for MMA, of course. Jakchi actually... Wait a second. He's going for the double gas. Wow. Look at that. That's really surprising to me because usually what you see most players do is really just go... Even if you want to go into cloaked banshees, you can kind of get away with one gas if you really press it. Because the costs for the cloak were reduced to uh, 200, uh, sorry, to 100, 100 from 200, 200. So a lot of players will actually just rely on one gas for a long, long time. And Jokchi gets the second gas here. That will give him a huge gas income, and he will, without problems, go straight into Cloak Banshees if he wants to. But he gets the reactor right now. I'm pretty interested to see what exactly he's going to pull off with this. Because right now, in terms of tech, I mean, we have him with the reactor, but that's a shit ton of gas that he's currently mining. Um, there's the expansion for him now as well. MMA is getting his own second gas a lot later than uh, Jakchi here. And you can see already that Jakchi is floating quite a lot up there. So he's nearly at 200. Of course the starport is most likely going to be started as soon as the factory is done. I would surpri be surprised to see anything else here happening. And uh, at the same time both of them just lying, uh, just taking it easy. Out. But yeah, here we go. So uh, could see a widow mine drop for example. If he wants to get the gas, if he just goes for a couple of Hellions, then it's really mineral heavy considering that he's still floating 200 gas at this point. But, yep, there we go. Double Hellion, that's all that he has for now. We don't see a tech lab yet at the barracks that he could switch them with a starport. Maybe just going into that medivac. And at the front, still trying to do some damage with those Reapers. Units killed, not really all too much. An SCV for both of them and an additional Marine killed by, uh, by Jakchi. But yeah, Siege Tanks right now for MMA in his main base. Gets the Siege Tanks and there comes the Tech Lab that I was talking about earlier. No Medivac, only relying on a few ground units here with the Hellions. One single Hellions, all that he has. Look at that gas, 360. Of course, immediately the Cloak, immediately the Raven instead of the... Uh, uh, the Raven instead of the Banshee. So let's see if he just wants to fake him out or if that cloak is actually investment into a uh, long run. If he wants to get a Banshee after that. But for now he's going to play a safer game. Kind of anticipating that MMA might go for the same build again that he showed us in the last game. Still a lot of gas here for Jakchi I have to say. But now of course it starts to see him out a little bit. We have on the other hand now the Viking starting for MMA and uh, he himself seems to be a little bit concerned that there might be either a Banshee or a Dropway coming his way. 
So let's see, we have also aliens moving in at the font trying to poke once again. Harvest account is currently a bit ahead for MMA with 30 to 27. Not the biggest difference, but if you just look at the income that we have, there's a slight discrepancy just because we have those mule timings. Um, of course, not really 100% lined up. Here comes the Viking right now. So far, no cancel on the cloak. Seems to run with it after all. At the front, the two siege tanks, they're doing enough. And you don't see... I mean, the siege tanks here are really zoning this out really well. That base is something that Jaggi right now cannot attack. The Viking here is going to help. This is the tag team that you oftentimes see. The one Raven and the Viking making sure that Banshees cannot enter the main base. And here's the Banshee being uh, built for Jaggi right now. Still floating quite some gas. Could have started the uh, refinery a little bit later, I guess. But in the end, no harm, no foul. So a lot of, well, there's actually a lot of Hellions here that he currently has trying to get into position. Middle of the map, we still have those siege tanks. You know what? If those are being caught off guard with the rest of the army, that could be really annoying for them. The Marines are toasted within seconds. That's exactly what I was talking about. Moving in, losing one Hellion, two, and all of the Marines are gone. And with the Marines gone, that means a lot of the anti -air is gone. But of course, the Vikings, that's something that Jakshi might not really account for, that there are so many already. The point defense drawn on the Raven is going to help out with this a little bit, but MMA is really trying to push this now. He still has a few Marines there to shield them, so it's not like a completely hopeless cause. One barracks over there, just making sure that the gold expansion can't be taken. And uh, MMA has the superior force here in terms of like tech. The Banshees are going to come in pretty soon, but we even have now Vikings on the low ground in assault mode, doing some damage to the SCVs and trying to bait those few Hellions in. And the siege tank, that's just like what we have here. It's just like siege tanks that are doing such a great job. Here we go again, Vikings against the Raven. The Raven is history already. There's one, ba the Viking also taken out. We have the Hellions evaporating. MMA is crushing Jokchi with his army composition. Jokchi just has the absolutely wrong units to deal with this. He's doing a lot of damage with the Banshee over here. 11 kills already, just floated it in. So MMA is forced to do something. But one scan reveals the Banshee and the Vikings are taking care of this. At the same time, the Orbital has to float into the main base, might even go down. He needs to send some SCVs in to really help out with that. Do we have one single missile turret maybe now and then? No! Banshee is still going ham. Jokchi is taking down MMA's economy. The big question is just like, does it matter? Because at the same time, the entire base of Jokchi is open to the Terran player's units. Terran player in blue, of course. 39 army supply against 16. This is... I mean, this is pretty insane. The Banshee is crushing everything, but in the end, it's taken out by a single Viking and a scan. There's still too many SCVs left. And with this army in the main base, I think a GG is going to happen very, very soon. A last stand for Jakchi. He's trying what he can, but so many SCVs already down and dying. 21 against 18, 16 against 28 right now. Too many siege tanks. And yeah, the SCV numbers are just dwindling more and more. He's down to 6 right now. There's nothing you can do. The GG called an MMA brings us into game number three.